Today we do the water element, um, which is the whole back of the body. Uh, I'll just close the door. Okay. So we start with the meridian activation uh, for the whole back body. So bend forward you can have your legs bent if you want if you're a bit tight in the back of the legs and we're going to tap the whole back of the body starting with the back of the heel so you're going to tap the hand you can relax your head down and then slowly make your way up the top back of the knees sides of the tailbone <clears throat> and then use this part of your fist and alternate like this onto the sacrum you can go high and you can stick your bum out a little bit so around the back so the sacrum sticks up you bring blood into the sacrum and then go up and then with the back of the hands tap the kidneys just up the bottom of the ribs. Okay, and now take your hands up and slap. One, two, three, four. Trying to go as low as you can. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then tap with the fingers, back to the neck. neck and then at the bottom just under the skull just under the bone get some major points here blood of 10 and going up so stay in line with the eyes and then going all the way up all the way to the eyes and then just pinch the corner of the eyebrows the inside corner of the eyebrows a few times pinch let go pinch let go that's where the meridian starts. And then we go all the way back. Forehead. Tops of the head. In line with the eyes. You can go hard or you can go gentle. All the way to the back of the head. Underneath the bone. And then back of the neck. Slap, hands up, and down. Two more. And back to the knees. Gently tapping just at the bottom of the ribs. Going down a little bit. And then fist. Round the lower back a little bit. And then use the thumb knuckle just around so there's a V shape of the tailbone. Just go around on the edge with lots of major points here. And then bend a little bit and then back to the end. So we do a little warm up 
dog standing, general warm up. So swing the arms gently, top arm hits the shoulder, bottom arm at the back hits the kidney gently and just let the weight of the arm turn your body and have the eyes follow your arms. Nice and loose, no tension anywhere. Right foot behind, left hand on the hip. You can bend the front leg, keep the back leg straight. Take the right arm up and over gently. So same arm as your back leg is going open. That's it. So you can look down and relax the head. Gently over, and the hips move to the left. Looking down, relaxing the head. So we're opening the side body, even though it's not the focus today. We just warm up everything a little bit before we get too specific. Slowly back. And then feet hip width, hands on the low back. We do this one usually. Gently pressing your hands on the low back and hips forward as you exhale. Open the chest and then bring the elbows together. Back. Again, exhale, press the hips forward. Squeeze the glutes. Back. And you can do the same, or you can slide your hands down your thighs. They land just above the knees. Your arms are straight. You can breathe here for three breaths. One, two, straight arms. And three, gently back. And then we roll forward, straight back at first. Bend the legs. Trying to keep a straight back and bend the legs so your, your belly comes on top of the thighs. And wrap your arms behind, so your forearms come behind your calves and your hands land behind the ankles. So your elbow is tucked in right next to your back of the knee. Your head is relaxed down. And all we want is to keep the belly against the legs. So you can straighten the legs if, you, if you're flexible, slowly try to straighten the legs, but don't let the belly lift. And use your hands, use your arms to pull your head down as you're trying to lift your bum up. right next to your ribs, fist pointing at the ceiling, and your feet are slightly wider than the hips. Pull your toes back, pull your chin down, inhale, and exhale. Use your elbows to lift the hips off the ground. Keep your legs straight and squeeze the hips up. Inhale, lower, and two more. Exhale, lift. Lower and lower. 
last one. Excel lift. And down. Good. Bend the legs. Grab your ankles. Feet fly on the ground. So keep your shoulders down, keep your chin tucked in, and wrap the fingers around the ankles so that your shoulders get stretched. Take a breath in, and exhale, lift the hips up. Inhale lower, one more slowly, exhale, lift. Trying to flatten the belly towards the ceiling and driving the ribs towards your face and down and we go dynamically for eight and one two three four five six seven and stay up on the eight inhale exhale trying to squeeze the knees together keeping the hips up inhale spread Exhale, try to squeeze them, try and touch the knees together. And spread, and we go for eight more. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And relax down, straighten the legs, stretch your legs. We activate the inside leg on that last one as we open the front. Alright, bring your hands behind your neck behind the back of the head, lace the fingers, have the legs together, and then pull the toes back, take a breath in, and as you exhale, pull the head forward, pull the elbows together, back, and again, exhale, pull. So opening the top of the spine, back, last one, exhale, pull. And back, all right, this time do the same thing, we're trying to lift the legs and the upper body just off the ground as you pull, okay? Big breath in. And exhale, pull and lift. And down. Two more. Exhale, pull. And down. And last one. Exhale, pull. I'm trying to come all the way up. Beautiful. Okay, right leg in, left leg straight, place the fingers, inhale, and then gently go forward, exhale. Back, and gently exhale, relax the head down as you go forward. Back, and we go for eight. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Switch leg. Alright, two gentle ones. Exhale forward.
Let the blood flow. Start with the right leg only, so inhale and exhale, lift the right leg up to the ceiling. Don't let the arms bend as you do that. Keep lengthening the arms. Inhale lower, but don't touch the ground. And exhale, lift again. The leg nice and straight, lower, and we kick for eight. And one, two, three, kick it hard, four, yeah, five. Six, two more. Seven and eight. Bring it down. Right, move the hips back into place if you need to. 
keep the arms long, keep the toes pulling back, and then left leg, inhale, exhale, lift. Keep the arms long, keep the chin tucked in, inhale, lower, don't touch the ground, and lift. Good, and we go for eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful. Keep the arms there. Just give it a second. I'm gonna do both legs. So that first one is more to dynamic way to open the back of the leg and gently building core pressure. And the one we're gonna do is purely core pressure. Purely so. If you build the core pressure, then everything else relaxes, so it will help us into what we're gonna do later. So arms along. We do five with the feet together. Five, so five reps, and then five reps with the feet mat width, and then five reps with the feet wider than the mat. As wide as you want, okay? So legs together first, take a breath in, pull the toes back, exhale, lift up, that's one, inhale lower, and exhale up, two, and we go, and three, and four, and five, Let's widen the legs, and one, two, three, four, and five, wider than the mat now, and one, two, keep lengthening the arms, three, four, nice, and five, relax it, bring the arms down, good job, catch your breath. Grab one knee with the opposite hand. So start with the right and then pull it across gently. Keep the other hand down and shoulder down. Gentle twist in the body. Hug the right knee to the chest. And grab the big toe with the index and middle finger. That's it. Left hand comes on top of the thigh and you straighten that leg up to the ceiling. So the work is happening in the bottom leg. Really push the bottom leg down. Use your hand, you can press with your hand on that leg. Relax the shoulders. Keep the neck long by tucking your chin in. And just breathe here. Press the bottom leg down hard. Good. Let that leg go. Just before we do the other 
side trying to feel the things left and right. Just one simple stretch. Let it go. basically legs together and then arms along your body palms down toes pulling back chin tucked in and then we just firstly we go up halfway only and we stay there just to build the core pressure and to make it sure that the spine is safe and supported before we go into plow so when I see legs shaking then we can go halfway to 90 and then use our arms to sh shoot the legs back and over. Okay, we're just doing a simple plow, just a normal plow, so straight legs at first. And then we're gonna bend as we inhale and then straighten and push into the heels as we exhale, okay? And we'll do that 10 times. And then we slowly come back down the same way we went up, halfway, holding, and then all the way down, okay? So legs together. Pull the toes back. If you're close to the wall, make sure that your feet can touch the ground. Since we're all super flexible in this room. Alright, pull the toes back, pull the chin down, shoulders down, press into the arms. Exhale, lift the legs halfway. About 45 degree. And hold it there. Keep the core pressure building. Keep the chin tucked in. Keep pulling the toes back. Press the lower back into the ground and let it arch. And next breath out, lift the legs higher. Inhale and exhale, shoot the legs back, use your arms. So if it's very tight at first, you can bend the legs and use your arms. So inhale, bending the legs, exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend, exhale, straighten. And again, inhale, bend, seven more, and straighten. If you're bending the legs and you're flexible, bring the knees all the way into your chest, into your shoulders. Five more. Keep pressing into your hands. And press into the wrists. straight, pull the toes back, and then slowly with control roll down onto your bone. Keep the chin tucked in, so no pressure in the neck. Legs are 90, inhale, and exhale halfway down. And inhale, and slowly exhale all the way down. Arms up, relax the feet. Good job.
in and slowly come up as you exhale. So always try to use the belly and not tense the shoulder or the chest. All right, come into standing. And we're gonna do this part I'll show you first. So you can do different variations. The back foot is at 45 degree out, just for stability. And you wanna have your hips squared. So don't let the back hip, the hip of the back leg move out. Keep them square. You can stay here. You can go down, head, forehead to chin or to knee. So forehead to chin is actually easier. And if you want to make it harder, then you grab the back knee and you pull your forehead down and back up. So you have to round your spine and touch the forehead with the head. No, sorry, touch the knee with the forehead. And so that uh, not only are you stretching the back of the leg, so which is all about bladder and kidney, but you rounding the spine almost like a cat pose. So have a go, do whichever variation you feel comfortable with, or do all of them one at a time as you get deeper into the stretch. So start with that foot forward, and then bring the hands down. If it's intense at first, you can bend the front leg, otherwise keep it straight, keep your spine straight. Stay there for a few breaths. Keep your back leg strong. And then you can slowly work your way down towards the leg. Keeping the hips square. So you're moving the left hip back as you're moving down. If you feel comfortable in this position, Go grab the back knee, wrap your fingers around the back knee, and then work your forward back up to the knee. You need to round your spine hard to do that. Keep the hips squared. happening with most people is um you start with your left leg so what's happening is that this is collapsing so um focus on and it's it's normal because it's easier to go down if you move it out of the way so try to on your front leg whichever one it is when you're in the stretch trying to lift trying to lift that hip up don't let it collapse or don't let move it don't let it move it to the side like this okay Lift it up and then go down. Have a go on the other side. Even if you don't go deep into the stretch, keep the hips squared. So slowly come down. Hands on the ground. Trying to keep a straight spine. Trying to keep, keep the hips squared. And you'll feel the difference if you lift that leg on that front leg, you should lift the hip back, just opening the whole hip, and if this is alright, slowly bring the head towards the shin, and if you feel stable, then grab the back knee. Especially the lumbar, round the lumbar, the lower back, and press the forward into your knee. sideways and your legs are wide and we're going to do a forward stretch only this time we're going to grab so we work on different things um, 
I want to start with working the outside of the foot. So you, if you can reach your feet, great with the straight legs, otherwise you can bend them slightly. And we're going to work by pressing on the outside of the feet. And then if we're flexible enough, we grab the back of the foot and we get major points here. So we can either from the inside, from the outside, yeah, and we're gonna work these points so they're on both sides, they're just here, just around the Achilles. And you'll feel them if you press them now before you go into the stretch, you'll feel it. Press on both sides equally, and it's most likely very sore or sensitive. This is what you want to um, release in the stretch as you're in the stretch. Okay, so come onto your mat sideways. Slowly, you can bring your hands on the hips, keep the spine straight, and go down from the hip. Bring the hands down, relax the head down. So we start by grabbing the foot and using the fingers, working from the little toe, and working that ridge from the little toe all the way to the heel on the outside of the foot. If you find a soft or tight or sensitive point, hold that. And now bring the hands into the back of the heels. And then use your thumb and fingers so you can Bring the hands from the inside, maybe easier for most of us, and you pinch it, your thumbs and fingers. And keep the spine relaxed. If you can't find it, let me know. And same thing if you find a sensitive point, just hold it there. See how it affects your spine, just holding those points and staying relaxed. Spine will relax down. These points affect the whole spine, they affect the sacrum. this stretch maybe you feel it all the way up into your head around going up that meridian that we did around the skull all the way to the eyebrows so these points are really good to release the spine and the sacrum just at the back of the heels all right next we're gonna stand on our left foot and then it's a variation of uh, standing head to knee, but we don't have to bring the head down. So we just come here and we're basically grabbing the bottom with both hands. We're grabbing the bottom of the foot here. You have kidney one, so it's, it's just if you fold the foot in and back, you've got a little fold here and it's in the middle. So you can try to find it before you go in the stretch if you've never found it, if you've never done that point and it's usually very sensitive so that's the point you want to grab in the stretch with both middle fingers so you come forward and down grab the point and then straighten the leg and if you can't lift the chest up 
standing leg as, as straight as you can. So keep your focus on the standing foot. hold of that foot, let go of the left hand, and then take it out. Good, and let it go. Kidney is all about balance, kidney bladder, it's all about balance, so we're gonna do a few balancing pose. Just a few, all right, let's try the other side. Maybe one side is much easier for you to stand on. Maybe one point in the foot is much more soft and sensitive. Just stay aware of that. So grab it with your middle fingers and then slowly straighten the leg. And straighten your back, open the chest. That's where the energy enters on the bottom of the foot. That life force is the start of the kidney meridian. That's why, in every standing pose, if you're doing properly and pressing that point down, it activates and you're sucking up the energy from the ground. All right, come into a squat. And it's together, elbows on the inside of the knees. So you bring your shoulder against your knee, lift a little bit, take that hand behind and grab, and then slowly come into a forward stretch, only this time we're binding on one side. And you're trying to straighten the leg as much as possible. If you can, look up and twist. And then come back down. Okay, how we go? You're very flexible, you can grab the opposite elbows in the back. And gently straightening the legs. Make it easy, you twist and look up. Again, all about stability. All about how you can bring your mind into the sole of your feet that's where the balance comes from. Good, slowly come back. Back into squat. Just give a second. And the other side. So really bring the shoulder down. It's easier to bind. And then arm behind and grab and lift. Let's 
twice. And then on your bum, and we take the feet together into a diamond shape. Alright, and this time, same thing, we're gonna come and grab the kidney one, so bottom of the foot, this one, using your thumb and wrapping your fingers around. And then take your elbows down and take the head towards the feet. Keep pressing on that point as you come down. Take your arms uh, behind towards the back and then through and then grab either the ears or the back of the head and then pull and try to straight you're trying to straight so you can just stay there it's fine trying to straighten the legs and then take the elbows out and looking up at your at your top of the spine <laughs> <laughs> let's try it for fun guys so you can just stay legs bent is fine. You don't have to take it really deep, but if you're flexible, it's a really nice pose to be in. Okay. And it's one of the only poses where you're looking up into your bum. <laughs> so you're looking up at your spine. The energy is going straight up. So the hands, you on the outside, you go reach as far back as possible. So your chest should be into your thighs, and then. Bring, that's it, bring it back, grab either the ears, if you want to grab the back of the head, you have to bend the legs a bit, yes, and then gently, trying to straighten, and you're doing it super well, what are you talking about, everybody's got straight legs, alright, just a few more breaths, stay calm and look, Look up at your spine. Oh, there, it is. there it is. It's really important into any pose that where the look is, where your eyes go slowly come out of it. Uh, on your bum again. Hands behind. We do a counter pose just before we rest. Counter pose easy. Tabletop, lift, keep lifting the bum up, and relax down on your back. Well done. never know if you can do it, if you never try it.
first so hands at the bottom ribs like together and we're gonna lift everything off the ground so front legs and hands lift off the ground as we exhale okay breath in and exhale lift everything up keep the neck long and down okay this time we hold it for six breaths inhale and exhale lift legs together neck is long trying to lift the legs at the thighs use your back squeezing the whole back body two more breaths and lower arms down check to one side So yoga therapy style where we're gonna throw same thing everything off but six times okay same as what we do in the warm-up so take a breath in and let's go one two three four five let's do ten seven eight nine and ten and relax different mindset and because it's the morning I don't want to be going back to bed after that sit into this position so you sit on top you're stretching the bottom of the foot and your heels are into your bum knees are wide if it's too intense for you you can bring the hands down and take the weight off a little bit if it's fine for you then straighten one leg and bring the heel into your bum between the bones one leg out you can either have the hands down supporting you or if it's alright, hands to heart. So <clears throat> we do a um, quick quick camel, just quick. Um, oh, five minutes. Uh, you can do it. You can. Um, so I want to do a camel variation. Same thing where we press onto these points that we were talking about earlier. Those ones we did in the forward stretch. So you can start from here, find the points first, and then lift up from here. 
stay on your toes. You don't have to, we're not trying to go into a deep camel. You can bring the thumbs in the other direction, whichever way is easier for you to pinch those points, and then we hold it. Okay. Have a go. So on your toes, find the points first as you're sitting. Should be one really tight point on each side at least. Sometimes more. Once you found them, make sure your knees are hip width and lift at the hips and lift the hips forward. Keep pressing. Keep holding the points and relax the head down. Child, grab the back of the heels, wrap your hands around the heels, and then lean forward down if it's not already. And then you're gonna lift slowly, lift your bum up, and then it's a rabbit. So press the bum up and forward. Don't let go of the heels. spine round and open. You can gently increase the pressure. Go gently and see what your body can take today. Lifting the bum up. Slowly come back into child's. Stay in child's. Thank you. 